Hey guys, so this is a follow-up video to Kendall's eye makeup for beginner video and ignore the ugly bedding in the background. My sheets are dirty and this is what I use when my sheets are dirty. So now that that's aside, let's get to face makeup for beginners. A main thing to keep in mind when looking into skin makeup is finding stuff suitable for your skin type because some products for people with dry skin just do not work for people with oily skin and vice versa. They just they don't match up. And something that can help get you on the right track for that is a face primer. This is a product that you put on before your foundation and it helps smooth the face or um, if you have dry skin it can add moisture. So a good primer for if you have dry skin, I have a drugstore and a high-end. The high-end version is, uh, this is just a sample size, but Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's a silicone based primer so what that's going to do is smooth out the face. I don't know, just make it a very velvety canvas for the foundation you're going to put on. But if you don't want to shell out the like $40 that that primer costs, you could just use the Palladio Herbal Foundation Primer, which is around $11 to $14, I believe. And it can be found at Ulta. Does the exact same thing as the Smashbox one. However, if you have oily skin, something that I like using, which is kind of weird, this is not the actual container, but Milk of Magnesia, um, it's actually a laxative, but what you do, you don't drink it, you kind of just pour out um, a little bit onto your hand and pat it on your face. And this is the only thing I have found that actually keeps oil away longer, I don't know, than any other primer out there. I have not found anything that can measure up quite as much as Milk of Magnesia. And that sort of thing can be found at places like Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, you know, drugstores in general. So that's good. But a good primer for any skin type is the Porefessional because it's just a pore minimizing balm and that's basically what you're kind of looking for sometimes with foundation primer is just, you know, smoothing everything out. So once your face is all primed, you're going to need foundation, obviously, if you're choosing to use it. Um, if your skin's not that bad, I definitely recommend looking into either a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer. And all a BB cream is, is basically a tinted moisturizer on steroids. It does a couple other things. If you're interested, definitely look into that on YouTube. I don't know much about them, but if it is something you're interested in, then definitely look into it. A couple good foundations I know of. Um, I'm just going to talk about my two favorites. Something you guys should definitely know is that I have oily skin. So, I mean, my foundations are probably going to be more suitable for oily skin, but not necessarily. Um, first things first is the Tinted Moisturizer from Laura Mercier. It is pricey. I'm just going to put that out there right now. It's around $40, $42. Um, but honestly, it's worth the investment. Skin is one of those things that if it looks nice, the rest of your makeup is going to look nice as well. And this is the highest coverage tint tinted moisturizer I have ever found. And then as far as just foundation, I really like the Stila One Step. And I'd say this is good for people with dry skin as well um, because it's just kind of an all over good foundation, paraben free, fragrance free, 100% um, natural pigments, buildable coverage, minimizes the appearance of pores, diminishes look of fine lines and wrinkles, hydrates while control controlling oil. I mean, really there's nothing more you could ask for. But this is also a higher end product. So a drugstore dupe I've actually just discovered yesterday, which, so I don't know if it's good for me to be putting it out there right now, but I have heard good things about it to begin with. Is the Dream Matte Mousse Foundation. Kinda dries to the same consistency of the Steel One Step. I'm wearing it today. I think it looks pretty nice, so it's definitely something you should look into. Then, of course, comes concealer, and concealer is kind of a hard thing to direct people towards, I think, because, I mean, it's really trial and error. But a couple things to keep in mind. Salmon tone concealers cancel out blue, so that would be like under eye circles. Green kind of toned concealers cancel out red, so blemishes. Um, and then lavender tinted concealer cancels out um, yellowing of the skin. So you can keep those in mind. I'll just go ahead and name my favorite concealer at the moment. This is the L'Oreal True Match. Um, it comes with a little brush applicator. Super smooth. I can use it on under eye circles, around the nose, anywhere on the face. So it's a good all over 
concealer, which is good for starters. So after all of that, you may want a powder to set your makeup, but there's so many different powders. There's translucent powder, which is excellent for just controlling oil without the coverage. Loose powder is good for giving an airbrushed finish, but I'm just going to talk about two of my all-time favorite powders. One of them is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. It doesn't settle completely matte. It's more of a natural matte, I suppose, so if you're interested, definitely look into that. But something I like from the drugstore is just the CoverGirl Simply Powder Foundation, and I have never heard anyone talk about this on YouTube, but it was the first ever powder I tried, and I mean, this is probably my fifth repurchase of it. It's just a really good basic powder, so I like that a lot. Something else you may want is a blush color, so depending on what your personal preference is. You may like cream blush or you may like powder blush. What I like to do is combine the two because that makes it longer lasting. So my favorite line of cream blushes are definitely the NYX um, Rouge cream blushes. Super pigmented. So be careful what color you choose because the color that's in the container is what's going to show up on your face. And this happens to be natural. Good uh, drugstore powder blushes would be the e.l.f. ones. And I have a couple right here. Seriously, I don't know why you would splurge on a powder blush when these are around. They are awesome, awesome, awesome. They come in a bunch of different colors as well. This is Candid Coral and this is Mellow Mauve. They go on very satiny. Woo! Stay up! <laughs> they go on very satiny, very smooth. You may also want a highlighter. All a highlighter does is um draw attention to the high points of your face so it may be the bridge of your nose and just so you know when you are highlighting your nose don't bring it all the way down to the tip because that could just make it look like oil keep it higher on the bridge just to elongate the nose you can also go on the cheekbones the cupid's bow chin maybe even your forehead one of my favorite highlighters is, is the benefit high beam this is just kind of a sample size that came in my finding mr bright kit and you just put it on pat it out and it looks very, very nice. As far as a powder highlight, basically does the same thing. I would recommend either applying a powder highlight with a stippling brush like this. This is just an e.l.f. one for $3. Or a fan brush, which e.l.f. also offers one. That's something also that I highly recommend. The e.l.f. Studio Line brushes are great, great starter kit um, brushes. <laughs> because they're $3 each and they're super soft and they definitely get the job done, so yeah. Bronzers, I can't speak much for because I'm not really into bronzers, but what I do know you need to focus on when putting on bronzer, when you suck in, the point uh, that has a shadow to it is where you would apply a contour or a bronzer. Also, the area around your forehead where the sun would hit is another place where you, oh God, now my hair's all messed up is another place where you would apply bronzer. You also want to be sure to blend foundation, bronzer, down to the neck. The worst makeup crime you can have is your face and the rest of your body not matching. Can't tell you how many girls at my school do that. It's awful. Don't be one of those people. It's embarrassing. But yeah, that's basically all I have to say. There's other things you can look into as far as setting sprays if you want your makeup to last all day. I've tried All Nighter by Urban Decay. Wasn't a fan of it, um, so I can't really, you know, speak for that. But I know a lot of people have liked it, so maybe you could try it out. I know they offer a sample size for $9, so if you don't want to spend... Uh, $30 is it for the full size? Definitely look, mm, definitely look into that. I don't know why I can't talk today. I'm sorry. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, hopefully I didn't leave anything out. If I did, just leave a comment down below and I'll be glad to answer your questions. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having an awesome day and I'll catch you on the flip side. See you guys.